that Ariana Grande bar. Holy. Then I'm disappointed. Then I'm bothered. And then I'm kind of if you're Eminem. So Eminem dropping secret albums now. That's what we doing. Okay. 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 But it's cool. It's cool. Don't need to tell nobody. Fuck it. Okay. Just bam. Out there. Nigga just popped out of nowhere like a trap car from Yu-Gi-Oh. I ain't even know what the fuck, nigga. Is that? All right. Huh. All right. Fuck it. Don't prepare people. Fuck. What's good? Oh, oh so. Bang. It's pretty much right today on Bad Way. Another banger. And as you can see, man, we are here with Eminem. These are my thoughts and honest opinion about his album. Also, I'm going to give, like, my input of other things I thought because, I don't know, I feel like what I think about this album is very interesting. I don't know if I should start off with my very interesting stuff. I know it's, it's very wild, trust me. What I think is very wild, y'all might think I'm reaching it, but trust me, it's a whole lot of scenarios behind it. I'm not going to jump into this reaction and probably give y'all, like, a basic reaction that y'all want me to hear i'm gonna be honest so disclaimer if you want to if you want me to come here and just start bashing eminem and saying what y'all want me to hear and just write this wave of just trying to stunt on eminem like he not a rap guy and carry that title throughout years going crazy i'm not gonna you know what i'm saying this ain't the video because i'm actually giving my honest opinion about what i think about the album so there is things I don't like and there's things I like. There's things I love and there's things I'm str strongly iffy about. So, these are true opinions. If you don't like my true opinion and you want me to ride away with hate of Eminem, this ain't that, because I'm not finna ride away with hate. This is a reaction channel. This is a, you know what i This is my review, not what I think everybody else would want me to agree with them so I can get likes and stuff. No, I'm not doing that. So yeah, you can kick it if you think that I'm gonna do that. I'm not. You know, so I'm not one of these fake other people. I'm not throwing shots either, but I'm just saying. But yeah, cause I, know, I don't know, a lot of people been hating on Eminem since Revival and even Kamikaze. I rocked with both. I rocked with Revival more than Kamikaze. So, that is my opinion. Like I said, people probably think I'm wild for that, for saying that. I like both, but I like Revival more. I like way more songs on Kamikaze than I like songs on Revival, but it is that the songs I like on Revival, I like a whole lot as well as like, Four songs are involved that I like a lot, so that's just my opinion. But yeah, this album, Music To Be Murdered By, mmm, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. The Alfred Hitchcock thing, I like what you did there, 100%. I get it completely. I, I'm gonna be honest though, what kind of turns me off about the album, I'm getting vibes that he only did it because people were saying that he had he didn't have that anger that he used to have. I'm feeling like he just did this album because of people was getting to his head. And it was actually getting to him. Like, Kamikaze is a big example that the critics and all the opinions that was out there got to him. This album, there's a lot of lines and bars about people that criticize how he was, about him falling off, him about him thinking he gonna fall off, or just or people hating revival, or this and that. There's so much things that he just listed that made me think he really is triggered you feel me like honestly but he has right to be he's eminem why'd i do this he is eminem fuck. he's eminem like i don't know he was an a-list he was up there he still is that that's why people put him on such of a high pedestal and and strictly like critique his music because he was that nick that wigger, you feel me? He was that wigger. He was going crazy. He would just pick up a mic and, you feel me, blow smoke in that bit. Like, it's like, anything he do now can't be anything above a six or a seven minimum, you feel me? Can't be anything lower than that in terms of like how fire the song's gotta be, or it's gonna be garbage automatically just cause it's Eminem, you feel me? But in my opinion, I like Revival. I honestly did. I honestly think Revival is better than Kamikaze. I know y'all might think that's crazy and that's wild to say, but listen, I say that because my preference in music, I like the aggressive and crazy and wild Eminem, yes, I do, but I, I'm also a vibey type of guy, and he had a lot of vibey songs on there, the Beyonce song, Ed Sheeran song, the Alicia Keys song, I like those, it was songs on there I didn't like, yeah, but 
I feel like I didn't like it because I like Eminem as also the aggressor. And there was songs in there that I feel like he should've just left that off. Like it wasn't bad, but it just wasn't the Eminem that I'm used to or the Eminem that was liked for it or it was just Eminem do what Eminem do, which is a good thing. He should do that. That's what I said. That's why I'm not calling them bad songs. Songs with meaning, like a higher, good, greater meaning that's political. I don't know. I kind of really don't like political and music mixing together, but that's really probably what a lot of people didn't like that album because it was really a lot of politics involved in that, which is kind of why I didn't like some parts of it because it was a whole lot of politics. This album got some in it involving like shootings and like, well, that's really it. <laughs> it's not even really political either. It's more so just, I guess you can say it's political, but it's more so on like the controversial side more than political. But like, yeah, that's the Eminem I'm used to. I'm used to the controversial Eminem, the explicit, the I don't care, the F you with two middle fingers up Eminem. That's the Eminem I'm used to. This Eminem, this softy Eminem, it's, it's cold, you feel me? I, I'm acceptable. I'm open-minded. I'm, come on now. Music is supposed to be an open mind, an open book. Anything can happen. It can lead you anywhere, take you down any path. So, I accepted what he was given. I just still just wasn't used to it. Like I said, I feel like this album mainly was stared off of other people's opinions about Eminem, which is why a lot of things in this album happened. Like, the shots at so many people. I feel like that would have never happened if people were saying, we want this Eminem back at this people that talk crazy and all this and that. This Eminem that would get us in our fields, the stepdad song, the song about with him and Royce when they were some of their younger days and how they got older and how they are now. The song of yeah, those kind of nights. <laughs> it's just those kind of nights. I don't know, I kind of like that vibe. It was a different vibe. It was different for Eminem. I like different, I like how he was trying something new, but it wasn't too out of the Eminem that I was used to at the same time. But it was mainly a song about being a side nigga, which is weird. And now in this album, he called himself a player, and he's talking about how he got girls and stuff like that. But Eminem is really different. Hold on. But yeah, it's like, in this album, I don't know, it seemed like it was a whole lot of confliction in this album. Like, he did things, cause he wants to. He's basically still saying F you to everybody. But then you can still see that this album was still affecting him and it's sort of like, his actions in this album caused him to do a lot of things like and put out a lot of stuff. And with the Alfred Hitchcock thing, what I think is deeper than what I feel like it really is. And this album, I don't know, I feel like it's also was inspired by more than just the Alfred Hitchcock. I feel like, this is probably a reach. Listen though, listen, listen. As for the rest of it, I'm very much a if you remember the movie Joker, he started off in like a psychiatric type place. He had like a flashback in a psych psychiatric place, or so it appears to be. And at the end, he also ended up in the same psychiatric home that that flashback was at, the same thing. Meaning he was in there, like in that place. So at the end, I'm guessing, when she asked him that question, all that went through his head, all those thoughts, and how he ruined the Batman's life. Like that was just him thinking of how he ruined the Batman's life, just taking a different course of things. He answered, you want to get the joke. I did a separate video with a huge explanation. I just didn't want to upload it because it's so long. I didn't want to talk your heads off, but it's a, it's a whole lot of examples in this. Like, like when he was talking about the mental stuff in this album, like, bruh, I was all like, I, every time he bring up this certain, Topic. I'm thinking about the Batman album. I don't. I said the Batman album. <laughs> I'm stupid. I'm thinking about the Joker movie. Like he didn't really kill nobody. It was all just in his head. All that was just all made up and make believe. And he said his life is basically a multiple choice. And then, if you listen to the songs, he using his expression for love to talk about drugs. And some of the other songs, I feel like he did the same exact thing in some other parts. To whether, I don't know if he's talking about a girl or drugs. When he said this, I knew he was talking about drugs. And like he poured out drugs and stuff like that. 
But throughout the whole entire song as a whole, it seemed like he's talking about a girl. Just like when he was talking about, just like how in the song Into Deep, he was talking about, he knew the drugs is bad for him, but he still wanted, he shouldn't go that route. He could lose a lot. Like he really in a situation that he's in right now, but he also want these as well as in like drugs that you can interpret or it could be like he's in a relationship but he want a girl as well like it can be taken two different ways if you really look i don't know that's probably just how i looked at it when i heard the average hitchcock part of the album and i'm just stretching it throughout this whole album when i really shouldn't but i don't know like i said i have uh, so many other detailed reasons why i thought that as well that he probably got a small portion of this album influence from the movie Joker. But like I said, I could be reaching. But we all know Eminem had that bad boy, crazy, wild persona in the rap game as well. So if you just look at that, you you can see like, hmm, if you think about it, it would be something Eminem, especially the old Eminem would do. The crazy Eminem when he used to be sending tiles of blood and you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. The old Eminem that was crazy. Off that, off that. But as far as the album, I liked it. But the features on this album that Eminem got, ridiculous. Young Ma was probably the most shocking feature on this. Like, I know he got Juice right there, and usually that would surprise me, that should surprise me at least. But no, honestly, I honestly am more shocked by Young Mom because I wouldn't ever expect that. I know she can go crazy. But I am kind of disappointed by her performance just because I listen to young mom and i know her and i know how her wordplay can be and how good of a lyricist she is it's just the fact that i don't know i hate it just this is not just towards eminem or young mom or anybody this is towards any rapper it can be my favorite rapper of all times when they do it i hate it i hate when people rap like this and it just keep going like this or uh, 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 like this da, 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 da. you feel me i hate that it's like a strong pair of pee. I really dislike that. So when they when she kind of did that her whole verse, I was like, man, like I was cool and rocking with what she was saying and all, but I hated the flow. I hate like flow really matters to me completely. So it was like whatever, I guess. And then he had juice with the chorus. I was feeling it. Like I I don't know. I really want him to have a verse though to get more feel like he's more so on the track. Cause there was some points of the song like, oh yeah, he is only the chorus. Like I'm still expecting a verse out of him, but just like, even after I heard the song, I'm like, dang, bro, I really wanted a verse, but it's cool. I didn't expect him to be on here. Like I, I'm just, I just wasn't surprised that he wasn't here as much as Yamai because he's, come on, he rapped for hours and hours off of freestyling, and they both somewhat have that drug wave in them. Like I Eminem mean, did songs on drugs and stuff like that, so. It's not really that surprising. And they're both great lyricists, so I'm glad he's on the album. I'm glad that he was alive and made it for the album as well. And I just, oh, let me just throw him on the album, you feel me? Like, that's way more appreciative than if it would have happened a different way. Don Tolliver, oh my God, that song, his vocals went crazy completely. That whole song, No Regrets, I like that song completely a lot as well. How, no matter what he did, no matter who he bash? Hey, what I did is what I did. I'm, I'm a man of my actions. I'm not regretting it. You feel me? I like that about Eminem. He's not taking back. He's not an apologetic person. He know who he is. He's very speaking of controversy. Well, that Ariana bar. Oh my God, that Ariana Grande bar. Holy! Even though Eminem did support the whole movement that happened when it happened, he was being sympathetic. Simp he was he was sympathizing. I should say. Wouldn't happen, donated, all that was there for him. The fact that he still said it was crazy. Like, I'm not saying, oh, he shouldn't have said it, blase, blase. That's Eminem, why did you do that? I'm not doing that, you feel me? Like, cause Eminem said a lot of terrible things in his career. This really ain't shocked me to the sense of, he's saying it. It's shocked me to the sense of like, it's been a minute you said something that crazy. I'm not gonna lie to you, what happened? What made you stop, you feel me? Like, come on, like, I'm not saying keep doing it and keep, what I'm saying, it's been a minute though since he said something this crazy that it went wild like this. That it's people all over talking about it. Trent, like it's been a minute, and uh huh. I thought he was, I thought he was getting soft. Like I know this album got a little lovey dovey on it, but I thought you was getting soft, like soft. But hey, 
you still don't give a shit. That's crazy. I'm just. That's crazy. <laughs> I had to listen to that. Just, uh, uh, he went crazy. You speaking of went crazy. King Cricket. Hey, King Cricket 5 9, bro. Oh my god. Royce went nuts with his album. Both songs. But I'm, I'm, I got something to say about Yaya. Yaya, I'm gonna be honest. This probably because, like, I'm 21. I'm not into that. I, I wasn't, like, I was around the grunge era. Like, I was young, but, like, it was going on as I'm young, young. So I wouldn't say I'm a part of that era for real. But even though I did listen to a lot of that, and even past tense stuff, because like y'all can't say, oh, he's young, so he probably don't know about music. But no, I know about the Run DFC. I know about the Jizza. I know about all that. I know about the Method Man's. I know, all, you know what I'm saying? I am knowledgeable of everything Wu Tang, Ghostface, Nor, Nas, Jay, Ho. Titty boy, I, I'm, I'm knowledgeable, you feel me? It's just the fact that, that beat exactly, I just didn't like how it kept going, y'all, 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 but the lyrics on there was fire. It just, the out, the instrumental, it just, it, it just, it bothered me. I don't know why. It just, I couldn't, like, I still like the song, like, it's cool. Like, if I could write the song along with the lyrics, I'd give like a seven, six, Tops, you feel me? But the instrumental, like it's cool for the most part when you joking around, but actually trying to listen to it as a song to take seriously, I can't. But if I'm in a goofy mood and I want to like mimic or just make a joke, or like let's say I was going to a Halloween party and I'm trying to really go hardcore dressed as like an old school artist, I'll pick that song, carry a boombox or something like that. Yeah, 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 you feel me? Get my kangaroo hat with the with the whole track suit. Get the cardboard box, get the spinning on my head, you feel me? I get the, boy, go crazy in this thing. Come on now. Like, man, like, what? Like, don't get it twisted. It's not a terrible bad. It, it's a bother a little bit. It's kind of just a little bit slight. Stepdad, I feel like Stepdad, like I said, was an influenced song by people that pressured him to just make an album like this, express his feelings and all that extra stuff. In my opinion, Stepdad, I don't want to say it's unnecessary, but it's people because it's people that can relate to it. So for that reason alone, for that, it's cool. Like for that reason alone, just people relation to it. They want the old Eminem. So, you know, old Eminem talk about his his past, his moments of just his dysfunctional family and how he became who he is. Just Eminem now mentally just broken completely. I feel like a lot of people are going to like this album and say, Oh, I like this album. It kind of gives me the old Eminem feel. Of course, that's what he wants you to feel. Because it's forced. And like, he's forcing that out of him. Because this is what everybody's saying they want from Eminem. And it's coming on his album. Because he's like, oh, you want it? Fuck it. I'm doing it. That's what everybody wants. I'm tired of hearing it. You know what I'm saying? You can tell he is frustrated. He's on this album expressing how frustrated he is. The story when he got with that, this, this, one of those nights. That's another song because of people telling him they want to throw Eminem. That's a storytelling song about him with a girl. Blase, blase. Like, come on, like. It get, he's trying to give you the old feel. I'm, like, I hope he's at least still happy doing it. Because, you know, Eminem was trying to go and move on to like a better, positive Eminem with this political stuff. I don't like the political stuff. Like, it's cool. I do, but not too much of it. Like, the whole revival thing, I feel like it was too much. That's why people didn't like it. It was just too much politics on it. Other than that, it was a great album. Like, the, the song uh, Strictly About Trump, that could have got thrown off. Like, it's a cool song. And, uh, like, if you would have just dropped it by itself, it would have been a cool song. You feel me? But it's on the album for uh, around a whole lot of politics. I don't know. That's probably my least favorite song on that revival album. And I like that. I'm like, that's it. I don't know, I just feel like a lot of people but oh, it reminds me of Marshall Mathers OP. Or, it reminds me of this and this Eminem back in the day. Cause that's what he want. And if he, if he throwing music like this out there, if he got this Alfred Hitchcock crazy psychedelic Eminem persona again, like he used to back in the day because of people in his ear, or if he making songs like this that he probably don't want to make his people in his ear, and making an album with no announcements because he don't want people to get overhyped and get disappointed because of people in his ear. 
then I'm disappointed in Eminem because he cares so much about other people's opinion. Like, I rock with Eminem. But if he doing all this because of other people's opinion, then I'm disappointed. Then I'm bothered. And then I'm kind of if you're Eminem because his persona was I don't care about other people. Two cents. That's why he's in the rap game because Dr. Dre didn't care about nobody two cents about Eminem. And he gave him a chance, you feel me? Dr. Dre was like, I don't care about what the fans saying. I don't care what my friends saying. I don't care about these other music critics saying. This kid got talent. So I'm taking him under my wing. So if Eminem is caring so much about people's opinions and made this album because of his frustrations and really want to be that big and high and mighty in the rap game, which I don't blame him because like he has a high pedestal. I know his ego is high as hell because of that. So, if you don't want to let other people down, that's cool, but doing it in a way that he probably not happy with, and it's only because the other people saying it, because like he's saying it in his album so many times, how disappointed, how mad, how frustrated he is with people saying that he flopped, or, well, Revival did flop, but that he letting people down, making terrible music, and just sounding garbage now, basically, like, about how he hate how people want him to sound, he's on that old Eminem, He's on those crazy drugs or doing bad things in his life, just in a terrible state. Like, if that is true, and that's the reason he's doing all this, then I'm disappointed. Completely. Completely, like, 100%. A joke that would be funny no matter what I think about this album. care how fire or how fast or how cold he was going that was I don't know when I first seen it it was hilarious just because I was just now being aware of the album and then I see this after I get knowledge of it it's hilarious completely completely it's hilarious and then with the uh, talks going around about how trash and how people hate that now so it was, it was funny to me completely the song Darkness, <clears throat> I like that song a lot. I like how at first it was kind of in the hotel, it was the point of view from like an artist. It felt like it was the uh, artist's point of view. I really like how he did the song Darkness. Then the point of view from the artist being nervous about the people in the crowd not being there and is dead and stuff. Switched to the point of view of a shooter, of a mass shooting at a concert. And verse two, like that was clever. That was very clever, completely. The Eminem fit on everything, going bonkers. This is disgusting. Just telling a story from the shooter's point of view, stuff like that. Like, like even though this song give you old Eminem feel vibes, he mixed it in with politics and controversial problems that happens in the world with the meaning that he wanted on Revival. Like this song, if this song was on Revival, Okay, this is kind of the stuff that Revival was about as well. It would have been fired. But it probably wouldn't have got as much love as it did that it's on this album. Because this album has a lot of other murderous and psychopathic things on here. And it's not around a whole lot of political stuff that it can actually get loved. And it can actually get its separate. How can I explain it? It can get its separate attention. Like, it ain't focused on a whole lot of other stuff around it that got the same meaning you feel me like revival did so i like that he still threw what he wanted to feel that he wants to give off in this album with his own twist of his old self like stuff like this darkness i like because he still added his own touch of like what i think of the music that he wants to make at least based off his old projects and like what he's saying that people want to make versus what he really want to make and just talk some stuff that he actually got to see off his chest and speak up for others. Like, I appreciate that completely. I think he should do that if that's what he want. I feel like he shouldn't splurge it all out in the album at once though, but I feel like he should do it. Like, drop singles every once in a while if you got to, like, do it. But this don't force music because other people want you to do music like that. I could talk about all the this he did, this is he did in his songs stuff like that but i don't know i feel like all, a lot of the this is he really said wasn't really crazy like yeah they were this but ain't like disrespectful this is like i'm the type of person if you're gonna diss somebody and it's not really as crazy or disrespectful i really don't mind it too much i just whatever like the trader joe one like 
it's okay. He just called him a traitor. Like, you know what I'm saying? Then he died. Like, like, it wasn't nothing too crazy for real. Like, it was just, okay. It's cool to this. But the one with the MGK one, like him and the rap gang had a baby, birthday, all this and that. And named it MG Machine Gun Kelly. Like, that was fire. And then the one he told cleanse them of his sins and that he's God and he forgive them, stuff like that. Like, that was fire as well. I was like, oh. Oh, M, go crazy. Like, I was nice. He said, is everything done between him? He said, yeah, it's done. You feel me? He's He won that battle. He, he know the vibes. Eminem, come on now. He knew the vibes completely. And then a lot of, another, a lot of other times with this album, he was just son in the rap game, saying, you know what I'm saying? He birthed a lot of these rappers. He bothered them and sheltered them under his wing and stuff like that. Going, he probably did that a lot. My favorite one he did when he was like, but with the visor line, with the keep like the sun in or keeping the sun out or something like that, that was the best one. That was nice. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like that was when I first heard that, I was like, geez, that was that was the way the sun niggas. But I ain't gonna lie, the best sun lyric I heard of all time was Fabulous. If you don't know who Fabulous is, check him out. He said, Shit, I'm used to sun and niggas, so I don't mind children. Like what? Is, that was that's gonna always be the hardest sun and niggas bar of all time i don't care it is it is it has to be another thing i like about this album is when eminem kept naming like method man wu-tang also had like wu-tang like tight bars in here like protect your neck shit like that you know so they would say protect yourself shit like that they got he got to listed a whole lot of people gave recognition all that like I, I don't know with that i never really heard eminem do and i never really knew who eminem had an influence off of or listened to or liked in the music industry before. So hearing all of that was something I really liked and like appreciated to hear because I didn't really know who Eminem rocked with. So that was pretty interesting and cool to hear. I like that from Eminem as well. Uh, instead of dissing people, give people some props. I rock with that. But yeah, I mean, that was all I really got to say about this album completely. That was, I, don't know, I can go on and on about this Joker and Eminem concept but like i said that video i did one video was an hour long then the second one was two hours of some change and i wasn't finna upload all that i even edited the whole video i just not finna upload that if y'all really want me to get into deep or deep details about it let me know but i'm up out of here i like this album it's not the best eminem album but it's not bad either like i'll give you like a cool it's different i'll give like a cool seven eight i wouldn't say 10 because i don't think there's a perfect song or a perfect album but it, it could be you feel me you know what I'm saying? but like i give like a seven eight in my opinion at least like yeah 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 i just hate the instrumental it was a lot of uh, 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 like skippy type of flows on here like i said i'm not i'm not fond of that but it was the features were great they all did good to a sense you feel me Especially Royce and freaking King Crook. Anderson Pack did his thing. I always like his voice. No homo. But yeah. Let me know y'all let me know your thoughts on the album. Y'all like it, you don't like it's trash fire. Let me know. Comment down below. Cause I wanna know your opinion on this. I genuinely want to know your opinion. Because I don't know. I feel like you can tell when somebody's trying to ride a wave and hate Eminem. And then you can obviously tell when somebody genuinely just don't like it because it's their opinion. Or you can tell when somebody really like it because they opinion so like i said comment down below i want to see what the fans really talking about and really feel about the album because you can really tell a true person's thoughts when they explain so if there's any other song to react to comment down below as well those songs or albums y'all want me to react to in the future or recent i'm open for it i'm open to give y'all a little review on it so yeah let me try to talk your head off Get up out of here. If you haven't already hit the like button this video and subscribe to join the also. Dang.